And how many of you in your prime were big Beatles fans? The Fab Four's final recording is here, forming a track called Now and Then. It was released today. Take a listen. The song comes four decades after the murder of John Lennon, two decades since the death of George Harrison. Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr use artificial intelligence to make the song, but how do they do that? Here's Hunter Sowards with the answer. It's the only Beatles recording of the 21st century, made decades after two of the Fab Four died, and it's all thanks to artificial intelligence. So how is it done? Here's the answer. The song Now and Then comes from the same batch of unreleased demos John Lennon wrote in the 70s. His widow, Yoko Ono, gave the two remaining Beatles, Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr, the recordings. They used the tapes to construct and release two songs in the 90s, but they couldn't do the same for the song Now and Then. That's because you could barely hear Lennon's voice over a piano. Fast forward to 2021 and a documentary made called The Beatles Get Back. Director Peter Jackson was able to separate the Beatles' voices from background sounds using artificial intelligence. A year later, the surviving Beatles used the same method, pulling Paul Lennon's voice apart from the piano that originally drowned him out. McCartney and Starr then added guitar parts George Harrison wrote in the 90s, as well as their bass and drum concert contributions and a string arrangement, ultimately creating the group's final track. And that's the answer.